Hello students, welcome to this series on business entrepreneurship. Today we are going to study complementing and supplementing economic growth. In this we are going to cover the factors supporting economic growth, the factors impacting the economic growth and the factors catalyzing the total process of economic growth so as to create the options. We are also going to cover the infrastructure required and the policy structure required to support entrepreneur facilities in any society. In words of Mukesh Ambani, now that economic realism has finally arrived in India, the future lies in becoming a strong economic power. Dominance in the world will come only from how well a nation can cope with the economic realism and towards that India must work, must find its own place under the sky. So these words show you how important it is that India has to grow so as to reach the new dimensions of economic policy in terms of reality as a kind of a sustained success. It is important that we have better standards of life. It is important that we have better products and services so as to generate a kind of sustained impact in terms to design a society which is progressive. The economic development is about jobs, income, community, prosperity. It is a continuing challenge to the modern society. To meet the challenge, economic developers must use imagination and common sense coupled with the tools of public and private finance, politics, planning, micro and macroeconomics, engineering and real estate. So this is the total structure when we put together in terms of all dimensions, we can design an economic prosperity in terms so that people can find employment and people can grow up in their lives so as to design success. In words of Ronald Reagan, we who live in a free market societies believe that growth, prosperity and ultimately human fulfillment are created from the bottom up, not the government down. Only when the human spirit is allowed to invent and create, only when individuals are given a personal stake in deciding economic policies and benefiting from their success, only then can societies remain economically alive, dynamic, progressive and free. Trust the people. This is one irrefutable lesson of the entire post-war period contradicting the notion that rigid government controls are essential for economic development. So these words basically show you how trust is important in people and if people are participating in the growth options, definitely a society will grow to the better options because it is not the government but it is the people's values, people's total attitude towards the kind of the progressive growth in terms of creating options is important. What causes economic growth? See, economic growth is effect. Entrepreneur is the cause. Entrepreneurs explore opportunities, convert ideas into viable business proportion and provide new products and services to the society by bringing together the combining or the combination of various factors put together for the production. They change the lifestyle of the people. What do the entrepreneurs do in supplementing and complementing this kind of economic growth? Let's see in this model. The entrepreneurs are basically persons who create enterprises. Enterprises give wealth and output in terms of profits and grow to the society. Profits and products can be used internally and could be exported. Then we have the employment income generation, which this income helps you to fight the anti-poverty programs in terms Poverty elevation is done. Basic, the tax requirements of the government are fulfilled. The higher productivity in terms of innovations is created. So we can fight many issues related to poverty, to the health, to the well-being of the people, to the money generated by the entrepreneurs. They are the basis, access and the sources by which the total factors which combine for the people can be created by the entrepreneurs. Resources are important for the growth of any economy. But then you can see one thing that countries who have lot of resources are poor, but countries who do not have resources are rich. It is the people who genuinely utilize the resources in the right combination make the society to grow. So it is people who are important. It is talent which is important, genuinely a talent that can exploit the resources and convert into combinations can be called progressive societies. Economic growth is directly related to the proportional knowledge and talent available in economy. The natural resources 
will be of no use if proper utilization is not there, if proper exploitation is not there. Capital and technology is important. The right combination of capital and technology and the kind of adoption of technology and the kind of usage of the technology depends on the educational level of the people. So we need to have people who have skills in term to design economic growth. The basic force of entrepreneurship is autonomous, but it has to be induced by policy intervention through the government and through the private entrepreneur in terms of the designing forces and the attitudes required for the kind of the total development. We need training in terms so as to build up this kind of talent. We have to catalyze development by some kind of planned intervention so that the basic factors complementing and supporting economic growth happen to genuinely crystallize the dreams of the people. Can entrepreneurs be created? Yes, certainly they can be created. They can be trained in educational institutes by the training institutes and most of the research which genuinely the entrepreneurs take in particular area related to the business make them successful. It is once people are shown what are their opportunities and what are their responsibilities, they can become better entrepreneurs in terms of development. We have a lot of facilities related to banks, to the financial institutions, to the other structures in terms of infrastructure supporting uh, the growth of entrepreneurs. But it is the combination of ideas in terms of mental upgradation of people that is responsible for growth. What are the inputs in terms of the requirements? Let's see in this diagram. First is focus. What is an entrepreneur? We require an aptitude. Aptitude is a kind of a behavior and ability. The objective needed would be the reinforcement of the entrepreneurial traits in terms of cultivating these traits and behavior. Then is the training inputs required in terms of motivation and behavioral inputs. Then we have the entrepreneur in terms of the enterprise establishment that is knowledge is required. You have to facilitate decision making in terms of the cost benefit analysis. So this will create the opportunities in terms of the guided information required to do business. And then is enterprise management in terms of the skills. This is successful enterprises can be created by right management and manager inputs in terms of training and education are required. The total circle of activity in terms of entrepreneur is seen in this uh, total model. We have the planning system. The planning system which guides the big firms. The big firms basically are designed by the entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurs are trained by the universities which are genuinely funded by the government and they are the kind of the, we have the laboratories in terms of research facilities available in the society and the kinds of inputs in terms of the other supporting facilities of health and other care systems. This is the total network of supportive organization which designs the future of any business in terms of collaboration and in terms of growth. We have many challenges related to the economic growth. There are many factors complementing and supplementing economic growth related to like what is the cost of living in a particular society? What is the cost of housing in a particular society? The availability of laboratory space and training space, the availability of scientists, the availability of schools, universities. What is the salary of the people in terms of the talent? What is the traffic and congestion on the road? the kind of the transportation available in a particular society, the number of technicians and the managers trained in a particular society, availability of venture capital in the banking institution, the availability of the cost in terms of uh, designing ideas so that they can be patented and the availability of space and the kind of the infrastructure required to sustain business. We need businesses in terms to build up the offices and factories. We need spaces to genuinely have a kind of connectivity in terms of internet and the technology upgradation. We need specialists so as to design the technology. We need equipments to design the technology. We need complex planning in terms of regulatory performance of the government. The economic catalyzation is important so that the infrastructure in right combination is built up. We need to have the availability of administrative staff who can coordinate the various factors of production we need manufacturing facilities and special business 
information so as to sustain the total scenario of business. We need to have clinical laboratories and the distribution facilities so that the products can be used by the consumers. So this is the total uh, variation in terms of all the inputs required to design an infrastructure which can sustain economic growth. Any kind of economic activity cannot take place in a society if it is not designed and supported by the accessory and the supporting facilities. The facilities are the lifeblood of any growth in a society. So we have to create, we have to design, we have to catalyze and we have to train people so as to take up options in life so as to make a society a better place to live in. Uh, the entrepreneur economy is basically designed by the underlying forces of liberalization in terms that people are free to take up their options and ideas. The society is changing in terms of the attitude and accepting the kind of the norms which people change in due course of their work. It is jobs with high wages and good jobs with the kind of the creation related to challenges and satisfaction are important. The external environment in terms of diversity and heterogeneity is important. The firms have to function in terms of motivation and in terms of the market challenge, the changes and the kind of the behavior in terms of demographic changes happening into the market are important. The cooperation is important from the government and from the other policy organizers. The policy in terms of the government has to be enabling and has to be sustaining in terms to support people to do their businesses. The input targeting is important in terms so as to design the resources in the right combination to give you success as entrepreneurs grow. Now the economic view of the entrepreneur was basically designed by Scampeter. Scampeter was the pioneer in terms who said that entrepreneurs can grow if they are innovative and if they can combine ideas in a new way so as to do extraordinary work. There is a kind of a change which happens to take place in terms the change which genuinely changes the society to make it a better place to live in. This is the kind of change related to information technology. The knowledge is central in terms of upgradation and building and creation and commercialization of knowledge. So everything related to knowledge building is important. That is the only force which can change society. New kinds of organization and work cultures emerge in the society so as to sustain the kind of impact required for development. We have the forces of globalization and liberalization impacting the economic growth of any country. We have the generation of the new type of capital sources in the economy, catalyzing the economic growth. We have the members of the economy who are working in collaboration in overseas market, working on kind of policy structures so as to catalyze the growth in the home country. Uh, we need more entrepreneurs in a society for the growth. They are important force catalyzing the movement of the resources from one part to another. They are important force who distribute goods and services to the people. Now the new society which is of the 21st century has to be built up on the basis of the entrepreneurial power. The power which can design ideas, the power which can design innovations and the power which can design knowledge so as to convert into products and services to give a kind of a product which is important in terms of usable and increasing and enhancing the life standards of the people. The stages of growth of a firm are related to four stages which is genuinely given by HALT. Uh, he said that the every firm in terms of growth has the first pre-start phase which is the period required to do a kind of a research related to particular idea or a particular kind of opportunity. Then the startup phase requires the collection of resources in right combination. The early growth stage is the production stage in which the production process is designed and the last stage is the evolution of the venture into a kind of a company which distributes products to the society in terms of success. See in the 21st century by Seth Godwin of the Fast Company in 2000 said the first 100 years of the economy's history were about who could build the biggest and the most important efficient farms. The second 100 years were about who could raise to build up efficient factories. But the third 100 years are guided by who has the best ideas. So now ideas are the basis of the power, the ideas are the basis of growth and the ideas are the basis of the economic upturn. Ideas are the best currency to turn this economic scenario of any society. The new growth theory is designed by the kind of the knowledge and ideas. The recipes of new ideas in terms of right combination can give you the right growth in terms of products and services 
and it is more valuable economic results given to the society. Let's see this model in terms of growth theory, which is genuinely a recipe of many ideas. First ingredients required are the intellectual capital, the human capital and the financial capital put together combined in a recipe of new ideas, entrepreneurs and networks connected together gives you the results in form of productivity, prosperity and cluster development of the society. So these recipes in terms of combination of ideas and knowledge put together give you a kind of a high tech society, a society which is genuinely designed by the nanotech products, biological products and technological products. The 21st century of science has emerged with various options let's see in this model. We have the bio options related to biology, medicine, agriculture, ecology and energy. We have the nano options of material science, we have the optic, electronics and engineering products guiding the society. The info products related to advanced computing, global information networks and systems. We have the Cogno products in terms of brain machines and interactive robots working in the economy. So 21st century is a total era of knowledge where a lot of scientific products and technology is impacting the human use. The human minds basically are designed in such a way that they have to be upgraded and educated in terms so as to enhance the usage of the product. The technology will be a failure if the population is uneducated. So the economic growth is directly proportional to the knowledge levels of the host population who is using the products in the society. Now let's study the standard policy menu for the kind of the industrial growth and the economic growth we require in any society. Uh, generally the policy area should relate to capacity growth, the capacity growth through the enhancement of the production process by giving subsidies to the raw materials required for the production process. It is the modernization and upgradation of the current production processes. The government has to fund and genuinely look into the kind of the processes so that the updation can take place. It is the human resource building up through the institutions. The genuine training institutions are required in terms so as to upgrade people in terms of their knowledge and in terms of their talent. The mobilization of the current resources in terms of human beings is important so as to use them in the right combination and give them better services and genuinely upgrade to that level where they can understand the kind of the manufacturing processes and the service related process and give better services to the people. Finance. The finance has to be taken by the government. The finance in terms of credit guarantee, in terms of easy availability of loans and in terms of financing the ventures is essential for the upgradation of the economic activity in any economy. Incentives are important. Incentives in terms of subsidies given by the government. Incentives in terms of low rate interest uh, loans available to people or it is the kind of the special incentives when you take up any kind of credit or any kind of certification process. Then it is the FDI linkage that is the foreign direct investment has to be linked with the industrial growth. The industries genuinely have to be pumped in the funds from the foreign countries and a kind of right collaboration will help the people to grow in a better way. The FDI marketing. This is important because you have to create a strategic industrial change in terms so as to pump in funds in the country and increase the investors faith a kind of a stable government in terms of stable economic parameters is required so that more countries invest in a country or a society. The efficient requirement in terms of infrastructure and logistics is important because the FDIs definitely come to the markets and to the societies which are highly developed. We need a policy framework in terms of supporting an industry master plan in terms of regulations and rules in terms of a kind of industry supporting that particular funds re related area which is genuinely guided by the ministries. The business associations and groups are important and we need quality standards in terms of certification. The economic development typically involves improvements in a variety of indicators such as literacy rate, life expectancy, poverty rates, GDP does not take into account the aspects of leisure time, the quality of life, the quality of freedom and the kind of the social justice. So all these things are also important when a benefited society grows in economic aspects. A country's economic development is related to the human development also, which encompasses among other things related to the health issues and the education issues. 
these factors are important for the growth of any economy because a kind of a healthy mind can only reside in a healthy body so your health is important before you develop any kind of knowledge in terms of industrial aspects uh, the kind of economic growth has shifted in terms of wealth creation it has shifted from inherited areas of geography climate and population and resources to the created areas related to top universities top research centers talented people we have the entrepreneurial culture and the networks in terms of the vibrant kind of force built up in the country so these kinds of uh, pools in terms of universities and talented people and a culture of entrepreneurs is important for the development and the growth of any countries now let's see how the development of clusters for the kind of economic growth for the entrepreneurs is designed in any society here we have a model which generally shows how research is related to the equipments and to the inputs of an industry and to the products uh, the research is related to knowledge information innovation ideas and the development and growth of a society which is genuinely a kind of a thing which designs the availability of equipment in terms of laboratory spaces and the equipments required to support that kind of development we need the support infrastructure the inputs are the kind of money resources and the talent the industry is the kind of the trends of the industries and the support for the industry we have the products and services so when you take up the research it has to be genuinely in terms financed by the capital firms by the government or by the angel networks which are available in the society the human capital provides the basic equipment in terms of the a uh, growth and development of community colleges in terms of institutes and in terms of colleges also we have the university and the government funding related to associations councils and calls to look into the kinds of the need of the industry and we need the specialized services in terms of bank legal institutions and accounting firms to support any kind of economic development in any society so this is the base model which shows how research equipment manufacturing input society product industry everything is important in terms of right combination so as to design success for the society the knowledge base economy has the kind of the uh, parameters in terms of tangible elements and intangible elements the tangible elements include a kind of intellectual infrastructure available in terms of universities a mechanism by which knowledge is created an excellent physical infrastructure and highly technically supported workforce it is good sources of capital available and then we have intangible elements related to the entrepreneurial climate and the quality of life of a particular society the basic interaction and the expertise of a particular industry to the people develops and sustains the society the more diversification and more change in the society and the industry comes if the people are upgraded and people are talented the new era of innovation is designed by the new era of thinking we have moved from made here cheap here built here to products like invented here and stated here we have to sustain our efforts in terms so as to create ambitious plans we need exceptional people because it is the talented people who are going to remain with us for the long term and it is the path to the greatness if we have talented assets we need collaborative genes in terms so as to innovate new ideas require combinations and collaborations because no single expertise is required to build anything this is a kind of a policy design which is required what should be done and how it has to be done we have shown you in this table what should be done is a kind of a hrd and a technology mix in terms of ministries put together to create a infrastructure this is the integration and competition in a systematic transition is related to economics but what politics has to do it has to deal with the leadership it has to deal with the political constraints and the popular sentiments of the people in order to build the administrative capacity of the government to deal with the kind of the economic changes we require in the kind of a country and we need key infrastructure related to social and human development we need productive sectors we need the kind of the regional development we have shown you here in this diagram that is a map for the efficient planning how do we plan a urban city shown over here first is the social and the human development is the primary schools are required the clean water the kind of the rural electrification and the solid waste control systems are required support for productive sectors involves a kind of small scale industries promotion a kind of agriculture promotion we have a small scale industries related to horticulture and other local industries promotion and we have 
the kind of the animal wealth which has to be upgraded the regional development involves a kind of integration and development of industries and development of services and infrastructure Now let's study the strategic policy areas which require to be upgraded so as to sustain economic development. We need the institutional support from the government and from the policy makers so as to design the economic growth parameters in terms of the technological support to build up the cultural environment and the financial environment to support industries. This is to establish a kind of a policy structure so as to finance the industry and the infrastructure. we need to facilitate policies which genuinely look after the poor people and the downtrodden people we need to facilitate investments in area which are backward we need to foster the kind of inclusive entrepreneur skills in economy so as to develop the societies in a better way we need to promote the social responsibility concept of the business so that the small scale businesses and the other businesses do look after to the society in terms of the conservation policies we have to create opportunities through information capital and local relationship the local relationships are important they are the local power which understand the problems of the local economy and this power can be combined in a right combination and right training in terms so as to support with the finances and the opportunities can convert local cultures into sustained economic cultures where the local traditions and preservations in terms of the ideas in terms of the customs could also give them economic returns It is important that the poor people and the backward people have to be connected to the main business people where they can take up jobs. This is important to build up a network of combining people together, the kind of convincing people in terms so as to give them experience and the kind of the local expertise related to innovation, execution and development of resources is important. We have sustainable businesses in terms of profits and growth. and we have sustainable development in terms of the local enterprise development so it is important that we when we connect people in terms of the society to grow in a combination the total system will grow up but how can these systems be combined how can these networks be formed we have we need to create associations and forums where people can come together and get connected into a kind of a framework or in a kind of a system of rules and regulations where the exchange of information and exchange of opportunities and options can take place to catalyze the development we have shown you this new model of double bottom line uh, where the sustainable business and sustainable development both can coexist is genuinely discussed here the kind of the reservation for items required for industry has to be done in terms so that they can be benefited to the manufacturing of small scale sectors we need a kind of a parental attitude from the government so as to foster a kind of trust we need the entrepreneurship development the promotion in terms of the protection from the government and the funds and resources from the government and the infrastructure of the economy has to be supported in terms so as to create a climate of promotion for the entrepreneurs the kind of the schemes which do promote entrepreneurs are related to be friendly in terms so as to gain the trust of the people the trust of the investor is important the trust of the businessman is important and when the businessman starts trusting the government then only the society can grow otherwise people will not mobilize their resources into the economy and they will genuinely become lazy in hiding their resources so if we want to catalyze economic growth if we want to complement and supplement economic growth the government has to become a protector the government has to become a facilitator and the government has to become a kind of a forum which can promote economic growth thank you students